I'm Mohammed Yunus, and my job is to oversee every part of our manufacturing process so that you get the best products possible. Today, I'll guide you through one of our newest 300 millimeter wafer fabs to show you the process we use to make products for you. We can make your analog or embedded chips more efficiently on silicon wafers like these. By the time we're done, each wafer undergoes hundreds of process steps until it looks like this. From there, the wafers are sent to our assembly and test sites to be cut into individual chips, assembled into packages, and tested before they're shipped to you. So, how do we get from this to this? Come along and I'll show you. One of the first things you'll notice are the suits we wear in our clean rooms to make wafers. That's because a particle of dust or a single human hair could ruin a wafer. Another way we protect our wafers is by making sure the air is as clean as possible. Our clean rooms are a hundred times cleaner than a hospital operating room. You've probably noticed carriers zooming around up there. Let's take a closer look. Wafers go inside these boxes called FOOPs, which is short for Front Opening Unified Pods. A wafer will go through all of its process steps inside these machines or tools. Even though all the tools are in the same building, they can be far away from each other, sometimes as far as a half a mile apart. A FOOP filled with wafers will be picked up by a vehicle and given a ride to the next step in the process. This happens hundreds of times. Once the wafer arrives at its next step, an automated arm will reach inside the box and bring the wafer inside the tool. Using automation saves us miles of walking and keeps the process as hands-free as possible, which means fewer mistakes. We make over 80,000 products here at TI. Each product has a unique pattern. Let's talk about how we make our wafers. You'll notice the light has changed to yellow. We're now in the photo area of the fab. This is where we imprint patterns on the wafer. Our photo tools are some of the most sophisticated equipment in the fab. We start by coating the wafer with a light sensitive material called photoresist. This is called a reticle and it contains specific pattern for one of our products. We put the reticle inside a photo tool like this and shine ultraviolet light through it. Like camera film, the light exposes the resist to imprint the pattern on the wafer. Then we remove the resist and use liquid or high energy plasma gas to etch the pattern onto the wafer. Next, we add layers. We add an insulated or metal coating onto the pattern we just etched and then we repeat the steps. Imprint a new pattern, add material and etch material away, over and over again. We customize the electronics throughout the manufacturing flow by bombarding the exposed areas on the wafer with ions. This changes the conductivity of the silicon and creates electronic components. In order to create uniform surfaces, each wafer is polished at several stages throughout the process. This creates electronic pathways to interconnect components within and between each layer. We repeat these steps many times, layer upon layer, until we get a finished wafer. Now that the wafer has gone through all its process steps, it's ready to be tested and assembled into packages for customers. Wafers go through wafer saw, die mount, wire bond, encapsulation, symbolization, trim and form, and visual inspection processes to make them reliable and ready to use. Then we do final testing to make sure they're working as expected before we ship to customers. This is one of the things that makes TI different from our competitors. We own our manufacturing operations from start to finish, including wafer fabs, bump and probe factories, and assembly and test factories across 15 sites 
worldwide. We have a long history of globally owned, regionally diverse, internal manufacturing operations. We're making strategic investments to grow 300 millimeter wafer fab manufacturing, just like you saw here today. And we're making targeted investments in existing 200 millimeter capacity. We're also investing in our assembly and test sites to modernize and automate our processes. This major expansion effort is all to make sure that we can support your demand in any environment for decades to come. We get so excited when we see how customers like you are making the world a better place by using our TI technology. Whether we play a small or large part in the systems you build, we're proud to be on this journey with you. We can't wait to see what you do with our chips.